Well, good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. So today on the channel, we are taking care of this nice load of locust and cherry. Stick around. So all I did was take the camera off the tripod. This one here almost rolled out and took out the corner of my tripod. <clears throat> but this is a really, really nice load of locust and cherry. And there's probably two more loads just like this to come out of that property. However, the field that I was using to access that uh, this wood has now been planted. So I just lost access to the second mother load of locust and cherry. Um, unless I can go through my buddy's uncle's driveway and get through his backyard to get to this stuff, or maybe borrow my neighbor's tractor and cut it up and haul it out and load it from his driveway, it might be fall before we can get back to where this stuff is. But for now, um, I do have some more wood coming up really close to me. Um, I gotta, gotta check on it and see what it looks like, but I think I got some oak coming in, and I'm like a lot of people, I do not like oak. It takes way too long to season. But when it's free, and it's a kind of a bartering situation, uh, you take advantage of things. So uh, hopefully next week, or in an upcoming video, I can share some of that oak splitting and cutting and just processing action with you, and we could see what we can fill up our rows with, with that load. Let's fire up the Easton Made 916 and get busting up some of this locust and cherry. Thank you. 
here goes a very nice trailer load of all locusts. I forgot to mention when we were uh, getting set up that I was going to species separate this load. And I did split some of this stuff a little bit bigger than I normally do. I mean, that's a pretty good chunk right there. Because uh, this is personal wood. This is my home heating wood here. And I did species separate the cherry because I might try and bust some of the bark off some of these nicer pieces and try and get some of the heartwood and try and save some of this for smoker wood. Um, cherry is one of those woods. It's just it's a good all around smoke. I got a couple buddies that smoke with this stuff, so it'll be good to keep some for them. You know, if I go over to their parties, I can uh, contribute to them. Or if I've got some people that want to buy a couple sticks of cherry, I'll, I'll have some in supply. Well, that's all I'm doing today. Uh, this isn't the end of the video, but that's the trailer loads all I'm going to do. And it's wild to see that the trailer's, you know, almost full here. But it's thrown in loosely. It takes up so much more volume when you throw stuff in loose. Because all this cherry over here was in the trailer too you know but Taryn and I stacked this up all right we'll see you back here in a little bit I gotta go to work in an hour shower time all right well we are back it's uh the next day but you know a few seconds for you uh before I went to work I ended up stacking this locust came out here I pumped some jams and we got this stacked up now these piles are for my personal use here and these are all nine foot long and I still stack them about four foot tall. So it is a little bit more than a cord in each row. But this is what we have for the upcoming heating seasons. And I do still have this gargantuan pile back here of just a bunch of mixed stuff. There's cherry, oak, and a lot of maple and mulberry mixed in this pile. This is what we're going to burn first. I'm actually going to reconfigure this pile the same way I have these going this way on the property, but I'm only gonna be able to get, I might be able to get three rows in here. I don't know, we will see. But yeah, like I said, we got the uh, locust stacked up. It was almost, you know, it's probably close to a full cord. I don't know, I'll have to do some math. Let's check it out, I'll be right back. All right, so I did the math on that. Uh, these piles are nine foot long, four foot high, and there are two rows here. So those are two rows, and then there is a row that is two foot tall and nine foot long. And all my wood's cut at 16 inches, and that gives me 119.7 cubic feet. So we are just over eight cubic feet shy of a full cord but that's not bad that was split and stacked in one day and if you watch matt from firewood on the hill his goal is one full cord split and stacked a week i did it in a day so if i could only do this every week we'd uh have some firewood here we have the easton made 916 fired up we're gonna blast through some of this cherry actually we're gonna blast through all of it i have to go to work in two hours Let's see if we can get this split up.
Well, the cherry is gone. And I did separate some boneless, skinless, uh, barkless, skinless cherry here. So I could make a couple bundles. Um, I was going to go through and actually make this stuff as skinless, you know, the pieces that I could. But I really need a vertical splitter for that. And that's something that's going to be coming to our channel here soon. Ah, eh, that's something that's going to be coming to our channel eventually. I don't want to say soon or give you a time, but that's uh, something we're definitely looking for over time. Uh, maybe somebody will trade in their old axis for one of the new ones and I can get a used axis for a good deal. Or I'll even consider the 17 BS. Oh man, look, the ticks are out. Don't let these things get you. But yes, uh, like I was saying, I I'll even consider a Wolf Ridge. Um, both are great machines. I have had the chance to run both of them. I ran mats up at Lily's Farm and Firewood, and I have ran Brad's Axis and Ken Anderson's Axis from York Firewood, and both are incredible machines. You can't go wrong with either one. Buy what makes you happy. I will say that till the day I die. It's your money. You work hard for it, so you may as well buy what you want. But that is going to be everything for today. I have to go get cleaned up. Uh, I'll stack this off a video and we'll see what we can get into next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Have a great rest of your weekend and a great week. See you.